In this video, I'm going to teach you a very useful tutorial on how to download and install HP DeskJet Ink Advantage 2135 Painter Driver in your Windows 11. So without any further ado, let's begin. First of all, you need to bring up your Google Chrome browser. The moment you have opened this, you need to navigate here with a search bar and type for HP DeskJet Ink Advantage 2135 Painter Driver and click on the Enter key in your keyboard. And in that way, you'll be able to see a list of results. So please proceed to the first one, which is HP Disk Chat Inc. Advantage under the official website for HP. Click on this one. The moment you flick on it, wait until you'll be able to be navigated to this new page where you can see the printer driver. Okay, so once you are here, it will automatically detect your operating system, which is Windows 11. If you, in your case, it's not, you can choose a different OS and select for Windows 11. Once done, you need to scroll down here on the list of results and locate for this installation software and full basic driver supports, print and scan functionality only. And the moment you click on it, you would be able to see this one. Click on this download. Okay, in my case, I have already downloaded such, but in your case, if you haven't yet, then download it. And once you have downloaded it successfully, you need to navigate to the top right corner. You can see their download icon and there you can see your downloaded file. So click on this folder icon to show it into the location where it is being placed to or saved to. So the next step that you need to do is you need to select it. And while selecting it, make a right click and go with this cut icon to copy it. Once you have copied it, close the windows being opened. And here at the desktop, make a right click and click on the paste. Once you have successfully moved the file here, okay, please wait until it would be successfully moved here first to the desktop. Okay, once it is being successfully moved here, you need to double tap to unzip or extract the file or either make a right click while selecting it and choose the WinRAR tool or use the WinRAR tool to extract it. So go with extract to and wait until it would be extracted and until a new file folder would be created here at the desktop. Okay, so once a new file folder has been created, we need to proceed to the installation. So before we proceed, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe and hit the like button to be updated for more relevant tutorials like this. We would love to appreciate that, okay? So, in order to start the installation, you need to navigate here at the start, make a right click, scroll up, and click on settings. You can also press Windows key and I key together on your keyboard, and in that way, you would be able to bring this up. Now from here, please proceed to the left side and locate with this option called the Bluetooth and devices. Click on it. And the moment you click on it, you need to proceed with printers and scanners. And afterwards, you would be able to get this option called a device. Click on this one and wait until a new option where you can add manually a printer driver would appear here next to this one. Once it's here, click on add manually. And in a few seconds, you would be able to open a new window where you can manually add a printer driver. Once it's here, please choose for add a local printer or network printer with manual settings. Click on next. Click on this downer key and use among of this three USB port. However, if you have an HP port, you can select that as well. So go with next. Once done, go with have disk and click on those. And since our extracted file has been placed at the desktop, then we need to navigate there, click on the desktop, scroll down, and proceed to your extracted file, double tap, and eventually you'll be able to see a list of drivers. Select any of this, click on open, and click on the OK. 
Once done, you would be able to see this one. You need to click on next. Okay. And by that, you can as well rename it. In my case, I'll be renaming it into 2135. Once you are done, you can now click on the next here. And then it will now start the installation. Please wait until this would be done. Okay, so once done, click on next. Click on finished. And there you have that you have just successfully installed HP DeskJet T135 printer driver here in your Windows 11. Close the window and you're good to go. So if you think this video had helped you a lot, then please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, as well as the bell icon to be updated for more tutorials like this. Thank you for watching and have a good day everyone.